Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, teaching you everything that you need to know about customizing your Android home screen. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be going through a lock screen video tutorial. I know it's been a while, but you definitely want to go check this video out. It's a great looking lock screen. So let us begin. Great, so like I said today, I'll be going through a lock screen video tutorial. This lock screen right here is by the very popular artist RDX HD with his lock screen titled Cool Lock Screen. And it's got his style shown through and through. It's very minimal, it's very sleek, very sophisticated looking and perfect for any home screen out there. As we start off at the top, it's got a very awesome looking clock and date starting there. And beneath it, what's really sets us apart, it's got a little greeting. So it'll say got off, good afternoon when it's in the afternoon, not obviously good morning in the morning, as well as your weather beneath that. It's got your notifications that will pop up here according to whatever you have such as appointments or notifications for Facebook or whatever they'll come up right here and then beneath that it's got a very cool looking unlocker here that as you can see if you slide from here it'll unlock it from the right to the left you'll get your awesome looking camera and then in the middle right here selecting that will open up your Google search quick and easy like that so if you'd like to set up this lock screen tutorial then let us begin with today's video Great, so first up, I'll just be letting you know what apps and resources you'll be needing for this very setup. If we have a look what apps what we'll be needing first off, we'll definitely be needing Widget Locker as seen over here. It's one of the best lock screen apps that I've ever seen and I highly recommend it to anyone that wants an awesome looking lock screen. Next up will be Zuper Widget Pro and I say Pro because with the free version you can't really get the custom templates so I do recommend getting that Pro version for that. Next up is I think it's called Nils or N-I-L-S and that's pretty much you need it for the, all the notifications to pop up on your lock screen. Then finally it's optional but I do recommend it a good file explorer such as ES file explorer it's free and it's awesome to copy and paste your files that are on your phone once you've got all those apps set up you'll be needing the resources check in the link in the description below for them and you just need to unzip them and then copy them onto your phone and like I said you can use that good file explorer to do that great so first things we want to be doing is copying those super widget files that are that you've hopefully copied onto your phone into their rightful place and if we go back you want to go into your wherever you've copied it now I've just copied it into a specific folder and you want to look for that one called cool lock screen. Now there's two Zuper widget files here, the one called lock screen date. You want to hold down on it, make sure that's selected as well as lock screen weather. So those are the two Zuper widget files that you want and you want to select or copy them into the Zuper widget folder. So in order to do that, you just need to go back into your SD card directory, go into your Zuper widget folder, then jump into your templates and then just paste them right here quick and simple like that. So those are the two files that are needed and once those are done then you can get ready for the widget locker setup which is what we're going to be doing right now. I almost forgot this need to configure the null setup so we're just going to select nulls right now it's going to open up this if it's asked for permission in the service area it says the service is online if it's offline make sure just to enable it in your app I think in your accessibility options so just make sure that it's accessible just so it could read your notifications up for you and don't worry it's not going to steal your information or anything like that and then just make sure that everything else is running there I'm just going to go into my widget right now and one thing you want to do is, well you can do it if you want, is that if you're in the clock section right here, you want to hide the clock, make sure that, see right there, it's hidden, so you don't, because well, you already have a clock. And if we swipe across here to notification, make sure that you're in the, um, the home section right here, is that you want to have that opacity, you want to have it completely transparent, so that means all the way on the left hand side. You're welcome to change anything else that you want, but the author pretty much just left it like this, and I think it looks amazing. So I'm just going to go back now. Great, so that's everything done for Nulls, and now we are finally, finally ready to set up our awesome looking widget locker. Great, so next up we'll be editing our widget locker and setting it up. So I'm just going to select it now and it's going to open up my widget locker. Now if it's the first time you've used it, it's going to look a bit different. Obviously everything's going to be a little bit different. You'll have some apps and icons and widgets that will be there that you don't want. So all you, all you have to do is hold down on each one of them and select remove. You can either do that or just drag them into the bin below. So you can either hold down, select remove or just drag them into the bin. So you want to just get rid of everything that you have on your screen. So that's a completely blank setup ready for the customization to begin. So once that's done you want to select that little icon there in the top right hand side there and it's going to bring up your different options that we're going to be configuring so first up we're going to jump into our look and feel and from here you definitely want to have alternative wallpaper selected as now we want to be jumping into select wallpaper and scrolling down you can choose your preferred gallery app i always like to go for quick pick 
but from here you want to go find that folder that you've hopefully copied onto your phone that contains all the resources as you can see here they contain all the images so I'm just going to be selecting the wallpaper that awesome snowy background of the mountain and you can just resize it just so that it takes up pretty much the entire height of the screen or the length of the screen I guess you could call it and put it wherever you want and now you just want to select OK and it is now set up for you you can now change the tint as well as you just want to have a bit of a tint just so you know that it's actually your lock screen so I just put it pretty much over there if we go back now we're going to go into our layout and this is somewhat important as you're going to be needing all your widgets to be kind of in the right order so automatically determine grid size you want that to be deselected you don't want to have that enabled and if your anchor is pretty much chilling in the middle here you want to drag it down to the bottom just so that you can add in all your widgets onto the entire screen now I just bumped up my grid size to a 12 by 12 as that seemed to work pretty much the best for me because it's all widgets there's no icons it just allows you for better freedom of resizing those widgets you want to now select save as that will now save it for you and the one thing you do want to select or have enabled is hide notification bar as you don't want that one at the top there don't need it at all also deselect label shortcuts now I'm just going to be selecting back going to go right now into our advanced settings as from here we want to a lot of people complain about that when you select your menu button it just opens up your unlocks your phone straight away so just a little tip to get rid of that if we go into our home helper setting right here these are the three that you want to have enabled you want to have home helper component home helper block home and then finally block home in other apps so make sure you have those selected and then when you select that menu button it'll just bring it up into your stock lock screen so it might just help for now then finally you definitely want to have widget overlap enabled as there's going to be one or two widgets that you're going to be having enabled great and that's all your widget locker settings complete make sure that it's on and if we select back it should have everything set up for you now all we have to do now is add in those awesome looking widgets great so in order to set up our widgets we're going to start off with super widgets at the top so we're going to hold down on the lock screen and select widgets we're going to be scrolling all the way down with all the mini widgets that you might have and you want to select super widget pro you want to go for something big well it doesn't really matter you'll be resizing it anyway but let's go for a 4x2 we're going to start off with the clock at the top so I'm just going to hold down on it right now select resize and make sure that you want to take up quite a large whoops you just want to make sure that it takes up quite a large portion of the screen so let's see I think that looks pretty good so I'm just going to select it now so that's going to open up the super widget editor right here and we definitely want to be selecting SD card as that's obviously where you've copied your specific super widget files now there's no images for them but you can just see what they're called so we're going to be selecting lock screen date right there it's going to import it for you or load it up as you can see that's what it's going to look like and we just select back now and bam there it is right there I'm just going to hold down select resize I want it a little bit higher so I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to leave it right there I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other super widget the, the weather one so we're going to do the same process go down super widget pro let's go for a 7 by 2 Make sure that it's quite large, tap back, go into that editor once again, go back into the SD card. Let's look for that weather one right there, select it and there it is. Go back and wait for it and that looks really, really good. So once those two are done, a little tip is that because it was super widget, if you keep selecting it, it's just going to open up the editor. Like if you tap it like this, it's going to do that and you don't really want to keep doing that. So you just want to hold down on it select block clicks right there and obviously you can just read undo this by just selecting allow clicks if you say you wanted to edit something but this is just good for now especially in a lock screen you don't want to keep opening up that editor and changing any of the Zupa widget settings so that's Zupa widget done next up we're going to be adding in nulls or I don't know, I know there's probably a better way to say it but I like just calling it nulls so we're just going to go down and there it is right there and there we go, I'm just going to be resizing it like this, make it sure that it takes up, no, make it touch the sides, just make sure that there's a little bit of a gap, and you can drag it down like that. Now all we have to do is add in that awesome custom slider at the bottom. Great, so for this custom slider, we're going to hold down on the home screen and now select custom slider. And now we're going to choose our various theme, it's called, uh, where is it now, it's called invisible tabs. Now if that doesn't show up for you, you just need to download it very quickly, you just need to select get themes now, and it's going to bring up the widget locker website I guess you could call it and it, this pretty much gives you just an option to very very few themes but the one that we do want is that one called invisible tabs now all you have to do is select it now and you can select it with widget locker here to open it with or complete the action using and it's going to download it for you there it is right there you can see it's being downloaded and all you have to do now is just select it 
and it'll pop up onto your widget locker straight away or well, hopefully straight away if not you have to download it in another format I guess so once you've got your invisible tab selected you've got your unlocker right here and you want to swipe it to the right like that and now all you want to do is change the icon so you just need to select icon like that you go into your gallery and choose your preferred gallery app like I said quick pick always works well and from here I'm going to be selecting that unlock button so there's no cropping or anything necessary just going to select the tick there it is like that now for the sound icon here we want to change it so we're going to to the left hand side now and now we're going to select widget locker actions whereby we want to be selecting the camera so that means that it's going to be opening the camera you can go back into your icon back into your gallery back into your preferred gallery app and then choose that camera icon remember no cropping just select done bam there it is now all we have to do select the middle icon like that but now instead of going into widget locker actions we're going to go into application like that and we're going to look for the one called google i guess you could call it or google search whatever one that you want but where is it there it is right there so now it's going to open google when you select that middle area now again you just need to change the icon once again back into your gallery and select that search icon like that so we just need to select it again and there it is quick and simple to select done and there it is at the bottom so we just need to hold down resize it so that it looks good so I think that looks amazing so that's pretty much our lock screen complete you can unlock it let's just see test it out lock the screen and unlock it let's just see and there it is so Got your little notif unlocker here at the bottom. You've got all your notifications that you might have. And other than that, that's our lock screen video complete. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. I'm back in the game. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more videos in the coming weeks ahead. So other than that, thank you very much guys for watching. Please remember to check out our various social communities as well as our Thema app. It's a one-click customization app that can transform your phone in literally one click. And other than that, thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.